So the first thing you need to do is go to uupdump.net. And when you go to the website there, I'll have the link in the description. You wanna scroll down to find Windows 11 Insider Preview, and you wanna select the AMD64 version unless you need the ARM version for some reason or another, depending on the process you're using. But for most of you, it's gonna be the AMD64 version. Go ahead and click on that, and then choose your language of English, whatever your native language will be for this. And then from there, you wanna choose which version. And I suggest here, selecting the version you specifically need. This will save you some time in the download, which I'll explain a little bit later. For us here, I'm gonna be using Windows 11 Pro as the example here with this, so go ahead and select that. And then on the next page here, you're gonna to wanna to choose download to convert to ISO. This is gonna make things a lot easier. So when you run the command, it's gonna download everything that's gonna create the ISO and everything for you. But once you have everything selected here, just leave it here at default, go ahead and click on create download package, and we'll go ahead and go through the download process. Now once that zip file has been downloaded, you wanna go ahead and open it up and you wanna take the folder out and you wanna extract that folder to anywhere on your desktop or anywhere else on a drive. You just want it outside of the zip folder someplace where you have access to. So once you have that set up there, you wanna open up the folder, you'll see three different commands, one for Mac, one for Linux, and one for Windows. And in this instance, since I'm primarily a Windows user, we're going to use the Windows command here. So you wanna go ahead and uh, right click and make sure to run as administrator UUP underscore download underscore Windows command. Once you do that, the download and basically ISO process will begin here for everything that you need to get this inside a preview. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time, uh, anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour and a half, depending on your internet connection speed and which sort of version options that you sort of chose here with. So just be prepared for that. You're gonna have to let this thing kind of download and sort of do its thing, but it's gonna kind of go through all the processes here. You're gonna see different command prompts kind of pop up and such. It's gonna download the files. It's gonna put it in the correct folders. Do everything you need to do. And then eventually you'll get to the point right here where you'll see the ISO file is ready for you and you can take this to the next step. And now once everything completes, you'll have the ISO file right here. And what's pretty cool, if you're just gonna use this in sort of a virtual machine like VMware or VirtualBox, you can just mount the ISO and go ahead and run and do your installs and set everything up and get your Windows 11 going here. But you can also create a bootable USB drive if you've used Rufus. I'll leave a link in the description for where you can download Rufus. It's a real simple executable. You run it up, this basically would create the USB bootable will drive for you can use it for windows 10 as well too which is pretty cool um, and you also need to make sure the usb drive you're going to use at least has about 16 gigabytes of storage sort of available on it here to be able to do this and once you have everything set up go ahead and plug in the drive choose that drive that you're going to use it's going to wipe everything out so just be aware of that and then from there where it says select you want to go ahead and choose the iso that just got downloaded and just got created and once you select that it'll pretty much put everything in default in terms of standards windows installation the partition scheme, the target system, all that sort of stuff. You can change the volume label if you want to change the name. It should get the file system, everything else the same, and then just hit start, and it will sort of begin the process of going through and creating this. Now, this could take some time depending upon the speed of your of your USB drive. I have like a little bit of a slower one here using USB 2.1 for a specific reason, which we'll talk about a little bit later. And it'll sort of go through the process of getting everything set up for the drive. Now, once everything is finished with Rufus, you should see the status of ready in a green bar. That means the USB drive is ready to go. You might get a prompt up here saying that the drive that you have here, you need to make sure the device that you're gonna use it on doesn't have secure boot turned on. You're gonna have to disable that by default. So just be aware that you may or may not need to do that. And if you have that turned on, you might need to configure some things. So just be aware of that there. But once you have that, you can just plug this into whatever dice you're using and you should be able to boot up and you'll be able to install Windows 10 on the hardware of your choice.